up for questions. To say that uh, I'm happy is an understatement because I'm happy for these three young men that are up here and I'm happy for 24 other guys that poured their heart and soul into getting it done. And uh, I can't say enough about the atmosphere in our dugout. The guys that were not playing, you could not find one single guy that you could say, oh yeah, he, he hasn't played the entire tournament. Because that's the kind of men we have. We will battle you. We will compete. And the guys up here know that the guys on the bench are pulling hard for them. They're not saying pop up, strike out, do something to make me mad. So they get taken out. They're Seminoles. They play their hearts out, even though they never put on a glove. That's what we get out of coaching, a C and a team come together. And there's some, I'm sure Salvi had something to do with some of the things that were happening four or five weeks ago. And Reese has been in our program for two years also. Well, this is Connor's second year, but didn't pitch. Had some arm problems last year, if I'm not mistaken. But what an outing he had tonight. What a stage it was for him to display his talent. It was just one of those that, well, if I was coming back, I'd try to figure out a way to keep this one. Those two are sophomores. But it's just, it's just so compelling to know that you have people that trust each other. That's enough talking from me. <laughs> Shoot. Reese. You hit the home run, you come around third, you know, you make a motion to the dugout, you stomp on home plate. Just what's the emotions like starting off the game like that? Um, I just knew that we were already locked in before the game started, but I knew something pretty early would keep us locked in for the whole game. And uh, we had a lot of fans there this weekend, which I, couldn't, I can't explain how much that meant to us, having them there. So acknowledging them and Getting the dugout hyped up is a big deal to power us through the rest of the game. Reese, how gratifying is this to get to the Super Regional? Some You're the, one of the last four teams in, according to the NCAA. Some people thought you maybe didn't even belong in. What does this weekend say about this team? And how gratifying is it because of the, the slump you had in the middle of the season? Yeah, um, we've always known that we've been really good. You know, we're kind of young, so some of the younger guys struggled in the middle of the year, but we're putting all the pieces together now, and uh, I think – that we are going to be real tough to get through from here on out. Connor, what was it like getting involved today, just knowing it was your opportunity to help this team advance? Yeah, um, I was really looking forward to it when I found out about it. I, uh, I knew I was just going to have to go out there and make some pitches because I had my defense behind me, and it was actually great that we uh, started off with a lead. So the whole game I was pitching with the lead, and I was just trying to throw strikes. Did you feel like you settled down the second time through your lineup? Um, I did because I, I felt like I had better feel for my pitches after I had gone through the lineup one more time and read their swings and different stuff like that. So I definitely feel like I settled down. So be after what happened last year, I mean, just how good does this feel to, to be moving on? Yeah, I mean, it, you can't even explain the feeling. I mean, this is the first time I'm experiencing going, winning a regional and going to a super. And um, yeah, I mean, it's a lot better feeling to tell you that much. The lineup is only as fluid as one through nine. Middle of the season, I know the slump was mentioned. Reese Albert wasn't in the lineup. What is his insertion back in allowed you guys to do, especially at the top of the order? Yeah, I mean, I mean, we we mess around and say the one-two punch, but uh, I mean, he's just a strong bat in the lineup, and I mean, you can see the difference. I mean, just in when he's in the lineup and when he wasn't, and uh, it's just a spark plug even tonight. I mean getting that going for us and keeping that momentum and it just kind of powered us through and we all just kind of climbed through it. So.
Connor, is there something freeing as a pitcher when the guys are swinging the bats like that, knowing that you know runs are going to keep coming, and you can just kind of oh, go yeah. out there and be aggressive? Oh yeah, I mean I I know at that point, like especially when we're pushing, uh, putting up runs in the first inning, like it's not that's not going to be it. So I just got to go out there and just try to get them to put the bat on the ball and not try to do too much and be too nitpicky with the zone and just uh, let them do what they do. Coach, two months ago you were flirting with an RPI 100, didn't even know if you were going to make the tournament. Now you're headed to a Super Regional for the 17th time in the last 21 years. How did you get here? I think so much. It has to do with our coaching staff. And Mike Martin Jr., Clyde Keller, Chip Baker, and fact that he did, he's not able to work on the field, but what a great job he does in setting up everything for our young men. And certainly Tyler Holt, a new addition this year. You got three guys that have been there and they want that for these young men. And these young men are two games away from having that opportunity. And I think that those guys deserve an awful lot of credit. And then you got a leader here, a senior, and you got these two that are sophomores that know what, what it's like to, to feel bad. And believe me, we felt bad after last year's. So I think what got us here was we've got the right people in our program, from the players, to the coaches, to the administration. We've just got to, just got to keep batting. Eleven, what do you remember about the last time you played in Baton Rouge in 1983? Uh, Jack LeMabe was the coach the last time I remember. I played in LSU in 83? Yes. How old were you in 83? Well, I was <laughs> <laughs> um, In a regular season? Was it a regular season game? I'm not sure. I apologize. <laughs> I do know where Baton Rouge is. <laughs> it was a four-game series. You won both of them in Baton Rouge, and then you split the series in Tallahassee. Ringing any bells at all? <laughs> only, only the first time I went. We played an old AAA ballpark, and believe me, if you weighed 240, you didn't want to sit down because that bad boy was not going to hold you. <laughs> it was a, a, a bad ballpark. But I, I, I'm sorry, I do not remember that. I remember Tulane, and, and uh, we played UNO, but I don't remember going to play LSU. I know that Skip Burke, excuse me, Skip Berkman is, is, is a heck of a guy, and certainly Paul has followed right in his footsteps. It's a, it's a heck of a program. Coach, two more questions. Um, after Connor allowed the home run to open the six, what did you see from him, or what were you afraid to see from him that caused the meeting on the mound? I just had to go out there and ask him what the over-under was on how far that ball was. <laughs> <laughs> what can you say? This, this guy's got a great baseball mentality. He made a good pitch. He just, the, the guy just ran smack dab into it. It was a great swing. And I went out to the mound and, and, and literally we just laughed because what else can you do? It's like he, when you really nutted one in golf and it hit the sprinkler head and you think you are something else and it rolled another hundred. It was one of those things that you just can't do anything about. You find out what kind of mentality he's got. I left, if I'm not mistaken, three hitters later, he had his team in the dugout. Three hitters later, is that what it was? Yeah. Four. Credit goes to him right there with the baseball mentality. 
Salvi was right there. He took the over. <laughs> I do remember that. <laughs> What does it mean to you to have one more weekend, potentially, as, as head coach? Oh, it's starting to sink in a little bit, but at the same time, it, the, the program is about these young men. It's not about me. It's about these guys, and I want very much, very much, for them to go to Omaha. And I'll make that as clear as I possibly can. It's about them. I want them to get there. Bad. 